All right, hello again. Um, today we're going to redo a removal of this capped component that we had done previously on the ST350. And uh, this time we're just gonna use a different heat shielding method uh, to uh, prevent any residue or, or having to clean up any residue at the end of the removal process. So today our uh, new heat, heat shield uh, material is this ceramic based material we got from Best Ink. Um, so all you, all you have to do is cut out a rectangle that is uh, one and a quarter inch by uh, seven eighths of an inch, uh, which is basically the dimensions of the component. And then from that rectangle, you wanna cut out a quarter inch in uh, to place on the lower, lower portion here and hug that up against the, uh, the shield. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so. Oops, just put that there and then put the rest right on top. And then before we secure it down with Kapton tape, you wanna put flux down because it would be harder to do that with the tape there. Okay, and we just want to secure it down with one long strip of Kapton tape. And just place right on top. And uh, it's important to leave this strip uh, out like that, so at the end you can just lift it over, uh, lift it. Okay. All right, looks good. Um, so it's been preheating just like the previous profile. It's uh, exactly the same except for the heat shielding method. Uh, it's going to run for, we're going to do 80 seconds at 760 degrees Fahrenheit with a blower speed of 7. So let me input that right now. So we'll do 80 seconds. Okay, so let's uh, start it up. I don't know why. Okay. Well, let's start. And just like before, we're going to use the handheld vacuum pick. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so. There you go. Um, thanks.